What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bianca. I usually make wellness, fitness, healthy lifestyle kind of content, but this week's video is a little bit different. I just spent a long weekend in Miami with all of my best friends to celebrate one of their bachelorette parties and we decided to film a little bit, take you guys along and kind of share some of the things that we did in case you guys are also either planning a Miami trip or have something fun in Miami coming up. These are a couple of our favorite places. I tried to be as helpful as possible. I put down the names of all the places I went to and I give them all a bit of a rating and a bit of an overview. So I will narrate through some parts of the video because I did a lot of like filming of things but not so, so much talking to the camera because I was very into the weekend, in the moment, just having a good time. So I will pop in here and there to give you guys some extra details where needed. But that is it. I hope that you guys are going to enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to stick around, see more videos. And without further ado, let's go to Miami. Good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. It's officially the Miami vlog. It's actually morning. Well, it's day two. It's the first morning because last night we had a little bit of a situation. We got off a little bit to a rocky start. So we had a late afternoon flight and got here around 9.30 and then within like the first three minutes of us being here, we saw a cockroach in our room. So we all freaked out, like freaked out, we're like unwilling to go back into the room. All of our stuff was like lying on the floor so we were freaking the fuck out thinking it was going to be somewhere in our suitcases. So anyways, we went and talked with the people at the front desk and they told us that that's kind of the worst room for that because it's on the second floor right next to the staircase right above a restaurant so you know they kind of make their way sometimes which is disgusting i don't even want to think about it but anyway so we got moved we're now in a different room it's the next morning i think we're over it i think no one has ptsd from the cockroaches so we're ready to move on um the hotel is a little bit older than what it looked like on booking.com like it's a little bit of a letdown compared to the really nice photos that they had online i'm gonna be very honest we are at the, what's it called? Ocean Reef Suites. Ocean Reef Suites in South Beach. The location is fantastic. Like, I, that's part of the reason why we were like, hey, we're still gonna stay. Because <laughs> the location is just really, really, really good. But other than that, yeah, it is a little bit older. Honestly, I'm not even gonna do a room tour because there's a room, a bed. Over there we have like a mirror, a tiny kitchen that's not really a kitchen, and a bathroom. So it's very, it's, it's okay though. It's all we need. So anyways, morning one, it is nine right now. We just got ready a little bit. Like I told you guys in the previous video, we have a Pilates class this morning, which is really, really exciting. So that's what we're getting ready for right now. Okay, this is Pilates outfit check. So I have Lululemon aligned shorts on that you can barely see, but anyways, they're there. And then this top is from CRC Yoga. I have a full review of this brand. It's all from Amazon on my channel. So I link it up below. I'm gonna give you the bride to be's outfit of the day. <laughs> what do we got? Uh, so we got Lululemon aligns as well, the black ones, and then we have um, Vite apparel. Yeah, she's a Canadian bag. company, so we Very love it. Nice bag. Yeah. And then we got <laughs> slides on. <laughs> we just stopped to get as coffee. She got a smoothie. We stopped at Java and Juice. And Juice and Java. Juice and Java. It's a, like this really small place that we just walked by, but honestly, really good. I got an iced Very good. oat milk latte, and she got a all um, kinds of fruit smoothie. Yeah, it was strawberry, <laughs> oh, raspberry, banana, pineapple, and spinach. <laughs> Those cars wanted to kill us right then and there because we were taking our sweet time talking to a phone while they were trying to cross. Anyways, but yeah, so now we're actually ready. We're getting a little caffeinated, mm -hmm. a little, a little full, a little, a little sugar uh, rush, yeah. <laughs> just in time a for Pilates before working. <laughs> just walked out of Pilates, and all I have to say is that I have been humbled like humbled in all caps <laughs> i was in so much pain i think i thought i was gonna tear like a hole through my abs and my glute was gonna cramp like that was on another level i've never done reformer pilates before that is something else honestly if i start adding this like even semi-regularly like i'm gonna be unstoppable <laughs> like if you can combine that with like 
some sweaty circuits with some like heavier resistance training, you're a freaking weapon. So honestly, really, really impressed. Loved it. We'll definitely try to do it more often one way or another, but like so hard, so good. And now we're gonna go and get some brunch. lunch and it looks so good so this is what we all got i have the summer chicken bowl and an iced americano what did you get iced matcha latte with oat milk and then the chicken peso sandwich Oof, yum tuna up next salad. tuna ahi salad oh, that looks so good mm -mm. tuna bowl <laughs> tuna waiting bowl. on my coffee and, and a grilled chicken wrap grilled chicken wrap really? everything looks honestly so good so we haven't tried yet but we, we already recommend. We just spent the afternoon at the beach, just got back, getting ready. So, give you a quick little outfit. So, can you, I don't know if you guys, yes. Top is from H&M. These are the Princess Polly shorts that I reviewed a little while back. So this is the first outfit. We are going to Nikki Beach, Miami tonight, which is like pretty famous, right? I think so. I think it's a pretty famous like beach bar, beach, club type area honestly we're not too sure uh, neither of us have really like gone out in Miami before so it's new to all of us but hopefully it's really really nice we have dinner reservation and then hopefully like it turns into a bit of like a bar or whatever we just hang around after and have a good time but I will show you guys what it looks like and I will give you a review I want to review all of these places and like give you actual tips because when we were trying to watch vlogs about Miami People were just showing stuff and not saying anything. Didn't say what it was, didn't say what there was good or not. Like, so useless. So, I want this to actually be useful. So I'm gonna try to show every place we go to and then come back and give you a little review so that you know if it's actually worth it. Like, there's no point in showing stuff. You don't give information, people. So anyways, I will take you guys with us tonight and we'll see if Nikki Beach is worth it. that I want to pop in as I'm editing this is that I realized I didn't really give you guys an overview of how that first real evening went so we went to Nikki Beach which is very cool in the sense that like the, the decor is really nice there was music you're right by the beach we went late like we went basically as it was closing we were the last possible reservation so like it was definitely getting quieter and there was no one on the beach I honestly I'm not even sure if you can actually go and hang out on the beach that much yeah, but I think if you want like to get the more full experience, go a bit earlier. It's more of a day place than an evening place. So we thought that by going at 6.30 for the last dinner reservation, that then maybe it turns into like a beach bar, beach club, and you can stay around and hang out, but that was not it. Like we finished dinner and they were already cleaning up and it was like time to go. So we just ended up walking ourselves on the beach and then took a nice beach walk, which was really nice. We saw like the sky light up a little bit. 
from the sunset so it was still really cool but just not exactly what we expected so just keep that in mind it is a pretty famous place in Miami but it is a day place so if you want to get the full experience I'd recommend going for like a brunch lunch situation getting your booze on a little bit during the day and then seeing where the day takes you but then after that we walked onto Ocean Drive and stopped at Palace which is like a drag queen show uh, place they have a show every 20 minutes and it's actually like packed and like the vibe is crazy like people are like clapping it, it was such a good time honestly I highly recommend it. it's just so fun like the mood is just so like light and happy and everyone's having a really good time so that is how our evening went and then after that we kind of just walked around a little bit to see what was around but honestly the like nightclub thing wasn't really our thing like when we were on the beach we got approached by so many like Miami Beach promoters trying to get us into clubs and whatever offering free entry free booze all of that but it just wasn't really our vibe we saw photos after and like people are just like like sardines all like squeezed into the nightclub not what we wanted to do but sitting down and watching the show and just kind of having a drink and being in the mood at palace was really really fun so that's it for day one let's move into day two A bit of an overview of day two so it's now around five ish on Saturday so today we got up we took it very slow this morning and then at 10 we had made a brunch reservation at Limonata and the reason we went there is first of all it's super super cute very aesthetic very nice just for like a group of girls we weren't the only bachelorette there it was a good vibe um, after we so we reserved at 10 after 11 it turns more into brunch rather than breakfast and they actually have like a DJ playing and all that so it's a really good vibe so we probably could have gotten a little bit later if we wanted to get more of the full experience but so the food was good um, the other reason we went other than it being cute is because they have like a bottomless mimosa deal so for $30 per person you get bottomless so as much as you want either mimosas, Aperol spritz, limoncello spritz or one other like Prosecco based drink which is really really cool like if you want to go and kind of have a full brunch um, situation going on and feel a little tipsy and a little good when you leave there it's definitely a really cool spot and then after that we just went and hung out at the beach took some sun took it easy and now we're back in our rooms about to get ready tonight we have a dinner reservation at Swan which seems really nice I've heard only positive things about it so I will take you guys along show you guys how it's been so far every place that we ate at highly recommend it was really really good I'll link them all below put all their Instagrams down below but yeah, so far, so good. It's been a really good weekend, and I'm excited to see how tonight goes. Yeah, hi. Last night. Last hi. night. Looking good. Hi, I love it. I love you. Ooh. <laughs> close off this video and give you guys an overview of Swan which honestly if there is one place that I can recommend out of this entire trip for day like for lunch brunch I would go to Pura Vida their food is so good the coffee was good it's really pretty like that's just like for like a small little coffee shop vibe but Swan if you want to go and have an amazing dinner and there was amazing music amazing drinks like honestly the music was probably one of my favorite parts it was like all kinds of like old school 
R&B, hip hop, like all the best songs from like the, the like earlier 2000s. So it was just such a fun time and it seemed like it kind of starts actually being more of like a bar scene a little bit later. We didn't stick around, we wanted to head back closer to the beach and be closer to our hotel for the evening, but highly, highly recommend. Like I said, food, five on five, drinks, five on five, vibe, five on five, like that is the number one evening place that I would recommend. We did a reserve quite a bit in advance and it was busy. So I recommend for all these places that you guys reserve in advance, especially if you're going in the summer when it's busier and touristy. But overall, it was a really good time. We got lucky with really good weather. So that is it for the Miami trip. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I would still, I don't think I'm going to Miami anytime soon, but I would still love to hear if you guys went to any places recently that you really loved. Put them in the comment. Might not be for me, but it might help someone else who's watching this video planning a trip later on the summer or whenever to Miami and don't forget to leave a like leave any comments down below give me feedback tell me what you enjoyed the most about this video I always love to hear from you guys and don't forget to subscribe for more and I will see you guys very very soon thank you for watching bye